So if you're into tech and spend a lot of time on the internet, then you've probably heard of iFixit. And they've been trying to, you know, promote their toolkits as these essential things for everyone who works in any kind of area of tech. And about, what, the start of the year, I decided to, you know, give in to all the hype and bought myself an iFixit essential toolkit as well. So as someone who works with computers pretty much every day, it seemed like an obvious choice. Someone like me who makes videos on hardware, of course, they require a good set of tools. But have I been scammed or is it actually good? And would you benefit from having one of these handy on your desk? Well, let's go over it, shall we? The Essential Electronics Repair Kit comes in this nice, handy and portable square box. However, on the back you may see that there are some little metal feet and you'd be mistaken to believe, like I was, that you could use this to maybe mount this on a piece of metal. Yes, they are magnetic, but they're pretty weak magnets compared to the weight of everything inside, so sadly you can't really use it for that. Which is a shame because being able to just put this up on a wall and being able to grab it down or even grab whatever you want while with it still being on a wall would be amazing. Because this little assortment of tools has so much style to it and clearly everything has been thought out with care and you can clearly see that it is quite a powerful toolkit. But let's go over exactly what it offers. With of course one of the main drawers being the screwdriver and all the bits it comes with. The driver in this kit is okay. Like honestly I like it. It has a good grip on it. But honestly I feel that for most PC screws it is just a tad too small. And you can't really get the, that maximum amount of power out on a screw the same way you would with a way bigger screwdriver. What makes it even more annoying is this little blue thing at the top. Which annoyed me quite a lot whenever I was trying to unscrew it and grabbing on it for dear life just to see it move around. Which is kind of annoying. Especially if you're trying to unscrew something by just grabbing on to that blue bit. You just can't. It'll just spin and the screwdriver won't move and it's especially annoying when it just pops off. At first I had no idea why it was happening, like why? What's the point of even having this? But the intent at least seems to be that you can just you know put whatever bits you need the most inside and then simply just take it out whenever you need. Which is good in theory but at least I wish it was a bit harder to take this top off so you wouldn't just accidentally move it around or even have it fly off when you're just trying to unscrew or screw something. Then seeing how portable this kit already is because of its size it just makes it even more confusing. Now finally the selection of bits it offers is pretty good. It has everything you may want. Phillips, flatheads, Torx and even a nice little sim head over here. My only real critique is maybe that all the talk bits could have been something else, at least some of them. Like in PCs, talks aren't really that common and it kind of just shows that they're trying to go for a more universal set of bits. They can pretty much be applied to anything. That kind of acted the wrong way because I would have preferred to have quite a few more flatheads. As I'm one of those people who, whenever they can, I try to use flatheads on Phillips screws. Now, the other main tool in this toolkit is, of course, the tweezers. And they are also a really, really good part of the toolkit. They're really strong, well built, and precise. And this and the screwdriver are pretty much the tools that I and pretty much everyone use the most out of this kit. But that doesn't mean there aren't other tools as well, even though these two are really fantastic and handy to have. So for the last ones, let's go just from left to right and see what we have. And it's kind of disappointing seeing how many of these are just a different variation of an opening tool, but let's go through them. Starting with this little spudger that you get, which is, well, probably the opening tool I use the most, mainly because it feels the most rigid and solid out of them. Sure, it may not have the largest surface area that can, like, latch it under something, but it is still really good and it is definitely rigid, which can't be said for a few of these other tools, so it's great. Now, definitely a more fragile tool is here in the middle, and clearly, I fix it didn't have too much hope in it as well, seeing how you get six, six of these little triangle plectrum shaped opening tools that you get. They are really thin, really flexible, however, if you really need them, they are there. I honestly don't use them too much because, well, this thing can do most of what this can. The main benefit is the way larger surface areas. Next up, we have ourselves a suction cup, which isn't really that useful to most people unless you work with things like phones or like AIO systems. Those kind of things may require one of these, but otherwise, I really wouldn't bother trying to do anything with it. The next tool we have is another spudgy like tool, but I just like to call it the pencil because, well, it kind of just looks like a pencil. The fact that you have a both a pencil like tip on one side and then this little like flat head like thing on the other side makes it really good and really universal and you can reuse really it for anything. But it also suffers from feeling a bit too 
fragile, especially the little pencil tip side. And actually looking at it now, it looks like I have already slightly broken off the top. And then finally, at the end, you have this little handy opening knife. And that's also something I want to like, but I'm just struggling with. It has a really good grip. It feels great. It's just the right size. However, the blade itself is, well, yeah. Not only is it not really sharp, but also it has quite a bit of flex to it. And even when I was opening some Amazon packages with it, it was just flexing left, right, and center. I was really scared it was going to snap off. I like it. It's a nice little handy knife. However, it's just, well way too flexible and it's not really super sharp so then even though it sounds like i did criticize a lot it is still a really decent toolkit and what really makes it that much sweeter is something i haven't mentioned it yet and that is the price because this thing will only set you back 25 dollars 25 dollars for all these tools is definitely not a bad price how that comes back to the question of how much it is universal versus how much it is, you know, specialized in one thing, because it's not. And clearly it's tailored more towards, you know, phones and AIO systems and like and laptops and stuff like that. However, the biggest thing is that you may just feel like you just overpaid if you buy it for just PC, seeing how many of these tools you may not even use, especially things like a suction cup and so many slightly different opening tools. The screwdriver, the tweezers and the knife are all great for PCs and of course a good opening tool for once in a while does also come in handy. However, even though I'm complaining a lot about it, I can't really even think of too many other things that have replaced these tools with to make them more PC-like. So probably what I'm trying to say is I shouldn't complain because for $25, this is still an amazing value thing and it's really amazing how much use you can get from a box this small. So whatever area of tech you're in, you could probably find a use for this toolkit. And seeing how it only costs you $25, it can be just the thing you need for your work and let's say you have 26 dollars and you want to buy this toolkit and you don't know what else to do then maybe check out my patreon because even one dollar a month goes a long way and have me make way for the videos and also videos on way more interesting topics down there you also find a link to my discord if you want to talk to me or about this or whatever else really i like this is really it so i hope you enjoyed this video if you didn't subscribe like whatever and i'll see you all in what i make next goodbye everyone good bye